Hi YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia English and today we are at the dump. I worked all day in Chase's room, but it's getting late tonight and the boys are just about to head to bed. But before they do, I wanna get a little bit more work done on Dayton's room. We've got a lot accomplished in Chase's room and we started in Dayton's room, but because we laid all the flooring, we still have lots of work to do in here, especially painting. But I also wanna restore a couple pieces of furniture and some old frames and get this duck vibe going in Dayton's room. So let's get working. We lucked out after all the rain we've been having that we have a beautiful sunny day to go look for treasures today. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling Oh, those are beautiful Maybe I can salvage them They're so pretty I love the colors of them Oh my gosh, look at it. It's my lucky day Bless you Searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. It's now time to start adding in some of those mallard duck colors that Dayton loves, like the deep greens that's on the mallard head and the golden yellows. We already have a little bit of golden yellow on Dayton's wall, but I started painting the desk behind me, this vintage desk, with the golden yellow. And so I thought I would accent it with a really neat bright green chair. This is sort of like a deeper shade of green. It's gonna tie in Chase's room a little bit and really give us that green and yellow that we're looking for. I'm still looking for the perfect bedding on Dayton's bed. And so I'm still searching for mallard print or duck print bedding that will really tie in these colors. But until I find that, I'm gonna start bringing in some of the duck theme into this bedroom space. So stayed up super late getting as much of Dayton's room done as I possibly could. But if you remember that this desk came from the dump and so it needed quite a lot of work. And once I painted the yellow on top and just held up the hardware, I felt like it still looked super outdated with the brown legs. And although I don't mind the yellow and brown combination because it is that vintage vibe, I thought if I really want to brighten this up for his room, I really think that the legs need to be white, but I wasn't sold on the idea yet. So I just did one quick coat of white on the leg and then stood back and looked at it and just walked away and went to bed and then came back to it this morning. They definitely all need to be white. Not that I can really go back now, but I really just figured I could strip this off if I really needed to. So I'm gonna paint all the legs white. I'm gonna tape the little brass feet because I still want those to be gold to match the hardware. 
I'm gonna finish this up now. There is a life I leave in this city. Hurry and cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. Doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart oh so old. Somewhere in the great unknown. When I return from the afterglow. So we looked up that the two art prints that we found at the dump a while back actually were mallard print, at least on one of them. And they are one of my favorite styles of vintage things to find, and that is vintage paint by numbers. I always look for these at antique places and of all the places to find them at the dump. And there was just a couple corners that had a little bit of a crease. And once they're in the frame, you cannot tell. They did have a protective coat, so I was able to really clean these and wipe them down. And I'm so happy with the way that they turned out. The frames fit perfect. These were just some vintage frames that I already had. I decided just to paint it white. I don't want the actual frame to be the focal point of this. I just want the paintings to be with all the colors. I can't believe someone threw that I know. Away. I mean, not everyone's favorite's Mallards, but it certainly is for Dayton. There's just a wire hook on the back. Get the level out in a second. And then this is the second print, which definitely has like some different decks on it. Those ones are more of the green head Mallards, which he really likes. But the colors are perfect for his room. And above his little artwork desk is going to be amazing. So the desk turned out absolutely adorable. Dayton loves to draw and so having a little station where he can have markers and pencil crayons and art books and stuff is going to be perfect for his room. And so I thought, well, this is going to be a perfect little desk. So reusing it in a different spot will make a huge impact. It fit in this little alcove perfectly. So he wanted either yellow or black desk. And so I thought yellow would be super cute. So I did it sort of the mallard print of the yellow and then accented it with the green of the mallard head for the chair, which I think is super cute. So this is the same set that we did, but we just were able to transform it. So shop around your own house and find things that work in other areas because a quick revamp means we now have not only saved money having a desk in this area, but we have now a really cute custom piece for Dayton's room. We also have his lily pads and his ducks and everything in here, and it's really starting to come to life in this space. But there's one thing that Dayton has been collecting since he was just a little tiny guy, and that is little miniature ducks of any species. He used to carry them around. When we'd go to the grocery store, he'd have to take one, and he's always finding them at vintage places. And so I thought, I'll use another piece that I actually used in my studio, hang these little shelves on the wall and display his collection. I'm excited that we got a lot more progress the last couple days in both of the boys' bedrooms. If you missed yesterday's video, make sure you check out what we did for Chase's room, for storage, for all of the things that he loves in his room. We have lots more to do in these spaces, including the closet, bathroom, hallway. We have so much more up our sleeves. So if you're not already part of our YouTube family, hit subscribe. What are you waiting for? Be part of our YouTube family. Thank you so much for being part of this journey. We're having a blast making these custom rooms for our boys. I love you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode.